Hi everyone, it's still January 16, 2018. I wanted to do a video on this when it first came out, August 2017, but I obviously forgot and I just bumped into it. Lithium in tap water may cut dementia. Okay, um, BBC mainstream media article about this study that was conducted and, and published in JAMA Psychiatry, JAMA. Uh, Journal of the American Medical Association, Psychiatry. Psychiatry has nothing to do with medicine. Psychiatrists are not doctors. Uh, all of this has been deliberate to make people think, wow, psychiatrists are just like medical doctors. There is no science supporting virtually all claims made by psychiatry. People don't understand that these journals, science has been taken over, corrupted, and the science today is so, uh, so obviously false that people should recognize what's happening here. To do a study of lithium to find out if someone has a reduced risk of dementia, how do they determine that someone has a reduced risk of dementia? And this study would need to be conducted for decades. Decades. But here, in the JAMA Psychiatry. JAMA is a journal that people sure do, uh, without thinking, lend an awful lot of credibility, prestige, peer-reviewed articles, and they have no idea that the equating psychiatry with the medical profession was deliberate to get people to see psychiatrists as doctors. It gives them more clout. It is so dangerous that we have the majority of peoples in our respective countries unable to critically think anymore. All right, um, but lithium is, is a toxic metal. And I'm going to get into the spraying of lithium in these chemtrails. But here, the study showed moderate lithium levels increased the risk of dementia by 22% and highest, the highest lithium levels had reduced the risk by 17%. If you have ever taken lithium, you will know, no doubt, that it comes with an awful lot of adverse effects. And one of those adverse effects is on memory. The higher dose of lithium that you take, the more at risk you are of short-term memory loss. And here they're saying that drinking water with the highest lithium levels reduced the risk of dementia. Lithium is known to have an effect on the brain and is used as a treatment in bipolar disorder. Uh, the element alters a wide range of biological processes in the brain. Don't you think people reading this article would be really alarmed that they might be considering putting lithium in the tap water? They should be. But then they read uh, from Professor Simon Lovestone 
at the Department of Psychiatry, University of Oxford. Oxford, this is a really intriguing study. Not only that, but lithium is used to treat people with bipolar disorder. And some studies have suggested that people on lithium for this reason, often for life, might also be protected from Alzheimer's. Okay, Alzheimer's can't be detected. It can only be diagnosed or detected post-mortem. And this professor doesn't know that. Dementia. Um, there are, and it might have already come out, yeah, there are ways to uh, determine who is at risk of dementia, but those those methods, it, I, it's all lies that we are getting. But this doctor, David Reynolds, from Charity Alzheimer's Research UK, it is potentially exciting that low doses of drug already available in the clinic could help limit the number of people who develop dementia. Oh, it's really exciting, Dr. Reynolds, because they said low doses, low doses increase the risk. It's the highest lithium levels that there's a 17% reduction in risk of getting dementia. All right. Um, here, Professor Tara Spires Jones from the Center for Discovery Brain Sciences at the University of Edinburgh. This association does not necessarily mean that the lithium itself reduces dementia risk. There could be other environmental factors in the area that could be influ influencing dementia risk. Well, whew, thank God we have somebody who is actually using their brain. Now, NASA has already admitted that they spray lithium. And I will link below to this video. Um, a woman called and you can listen to this scientist at NASA admit that they were spraying lithium. Now, NASA claims that they spray this lithium because lithium allows them to see what's happening in the atmosphere. But let me, I do believe that they are already spraying lithium upon us. They may already have lithium in the tap water, um, but they were spraying it over Oregon. Lithium and the experiment over Oregon and Fillmore. Uh, she began receiving reports by email, telephone, Facebook of very specific symptoms from very specific locations under very specific spraying activity throughout, throughout Oregon. The symptoms were being caused almost certainly by lithium intake. Then she got a letter from a whistleblower. This whistleblower, uh, it, this is not the name, but he, he named himself Locke. And he is clearly a professor at a university in Oregon. So the first letter that she got, Locke said that he had warned thousands of people of the ongoing spraying to manufacture air stagnation in the Rogue and Umpqua Valleys, as well as much of the Oregon coast south of Florence. The artificially induced period of air stagnation is part of a larger experiment testing the efficacy of psychoactive chemical dispersal from high altitudes. These stagnant air currents in the region allow for more direct application of psychoactive agents to test populations. Lithium is the primary substance being dispersed. My department is playing a secondary role collecting water and soil samples. The Sociological Research Division, however, has operatives throughout the region gathering a massive amount of data regarding the test population's behavioral traits, like consumer habits, political engagement levels, 
and awareness of geoengineering programs. The second letter that she received and Fillmore received from this whistleblower, he stated, these dispersal plumes contain lithium and other psychoactive compounds. Additional spraying operations will be conducted to increase targeting areas in the Portland metropolitan area. The experiments were going on for three years. He also stated that because of his own family crisis, crises, it made him recognize the inherent evil of using human beings and the natural environment as a laboratory. Ethical considerations should never be disregarded. Unfortunately, at my workplace, they routinely are. This is a very interesting article. It's long, so you can click on the link below and you can read it for yourself. Here are all the chemtrail spraying. Uh, all of these lines that you can see right here. So, the symptoms, some of the symptoms that Ann Fillmore noted were severe chest congestion, coughing, sinus pain, headaches, extreme muscle pain, lethargy. So, lithium is a metal. It is one of the softest of all metals, relatively inexpensive to mine. Lithium refined is highly reactive and flammable. Think about the California fires. Think about all of these forest fires that suddenly, inexplicably, inexplicably, and almost immediately grow out of control. Lithium refined is highly reactive and flammable. Lithium will ignite and burn in oxygen when exposed to water or water vapors. It is highly conductive of both heat and electricity. This is why it is now being widely used in geoengineering to increase electric conductivity as a desiccant drying agent and to increase volatility in forest fires. The symptoms of lithium exposure, very small doses, very small doses can cause birth defects, most especially of the heart. Lithium also passes through breast milk and will harm the baby. So think lithium in tap water, pregnant women drinking from tap water, they're drinking lithium. Oh, right, but lithium in high amounts will reduce the risk of dementia. So they're drinking high amounts when small amounts cause birth defects. For some individuals, even the smallest dose, dose of lithium as a drug can be highly debilitating and some people react allergically and there is no antidote for lithium overdose or allergic reaction. So when you are prescribed lithium, you very often have to have blood tests because they have to make sure that your lithium level does not exceed a toxic level. Lithium is very, it is very um, dangerous. So here are some of the side effects. Lethargy. You feel heavy and drugged. Thirst. You can become quickly dehydrated, especially if overheated. You crave salt, stomach distress, diarrhea, or constipation, sudden weight gain, muscle joint pain, twitching of hands and head, sometimes of the whole body, loss of appetite. You can't taste your food. Slurred speech, blurred vision, confusion, hallucinations, um, it, it can make it seem as if you have a thyroid 
malfunction. Imitation, goit, am I pronouncing that right? Um, looks like thyroid malfunction, but it isn't. So how many people are being diagnosed with thyroid malfunction? when they might not even have a thyroid malfunction. Impotence, endocrine disruptor, causing severe periods. Stomach swells up as if you're pregnant. Kidney pain, acne, severe skin rashes, hair loss. I've seen comments from subscribers who right, they're losing their hair. I can't taste my food anymore. I do have twitching, but it's not of hands or head, but like facial twitching, blurred vision, muscle joint pain, confusion, dehydration, lethargy. I do believe that they are spraying lithium in our, in our skies already. I'll link below to the articles.